Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. During my trip back to Vietnam last month, I decided to travel to Dalat for a week with my best friend. Dalat is a boutique mountainous town in the south of Vietnam. It's a two hour direct flight from Hanoi and there's Dalat from above with its beautiful mountains, forest and farmland. Dalat was so nice this time of the year. The lowest temperature was around 10 to 12 degrees Celsius and highest about 27 28 degrees. The sky was blue and the sun was out on most days. It was near lunch time so we checked into the hotel and went out to find some food. Dalat is such a hilly place and there are stairs like this everywhere. Going through little connected alleyways like this is so cool. As you can see the whole neighborhood. There are also lots of homestay and boutique motels all over the place. We found this restaurant which is funny as it's actually specialized in Danak cuisines. Here's the lunch menu. Pricing was really good. They have set menu only from 2 to 3 US dollars. We order Bang Chang Quân Thịt, which is a set of cell wrapped fresh spring rolls with boiled pork and a couple of pre made shrimp and pork rolls. The meat was boiled and sliced really, really thin. We also ordered a bowl of noodle salad, bun mam, as well. This set includes some pineapple, carrots, cucumber, cabbage, pickles, and heaps of lettuce and herbs. Basically, you just put everything you like on the rice paper and wrap it up. Here's some fresh rice noodles as well. I had to use two sheets of rice paper and I always added too much fillings. It's a pack of flavors. Dip it in mam name, which is fermented anchovy dipping sauce with fried shallots and pineapple. It's super, super yummy. It's fresh, it's fulfilling and so tasty. Across the street from our hotel, there's this little garden cafe called Merck. It looks like a hidden place from outside, but walking into behind the curtains, it opens up this beautiful green space. There are trees and plants all over the place. There's water running. It feels really calm and soothing. It looks like it was an old house, nothing left. For the frame. I'm a big fan of their pineapple and carrots, fresh juice. I actually came back almost every day for this. Next up, we went to Dalat Railway Station. It's not in operations anymore, just a tourist attraction and they run a 7km train ride for tourists. This train station, designed in 1932 under the governance of Indochinese Federation, was actually one of the first colonial style buildings in the area. The old train carriages are still standing against the flow of time. We then visited Baudat's palace. Well, that was the 13th and the last emperor of the Nguyen dynasty, the last ruling dynasty of Vietnam. 
Since Dalat has such nice weather all year round, he used this place as one of his holiday homes. It was designed by a French architect in 1940, and Baudet's father-in-law bought this mansion for him in 1949. Stepping through the doors, you will see the king's outfit embroidered with golden dragon patterns. This room is full of the photos of emperors and empresses with some information relating to Emperor Baudai and number 13. His whole life went through many milestones with this special number. He was born in 1913 came to the throne when he was 13 years of age and he was the 13th king of the Nguyen dynasty and ruled the country for a total of 13 years. Official records also show that he had 13 children. On the second floor, there were some wax figures of Bada and his wife, Empress Nam Phuong, for tourists to take photos with. It actually scared me a little bit because I didn't expect to see them here. Here's a photo of the Empress and their five children. And here's a conference room and a guest bedroom. The worship room looks like any household's worship room in Vietnam with pictures of the ancestors on top and offerings underneath. Here's the bedroom of Madame Tu Cung, Baudai's mother, the wife of Emperor Khai Dik. And there's a few photos of her and her children. On the way back from the palace, the temperature quickly dropped as the sun was going down. So we stopped at this little cafe for hot drink. It was actually also a tailor and decorated to be very nostalgic. Like every house here is just full of pot plants and flowers, it's really cute. I ordered a hot soy milk. They do sell a lot of these around here. I guess it's one of the most popular drink for Dalat people. Before the day ended, we went to this place for a hot bowl of fish noodle soup. It's a quite popular restaurant. We ordered a bowl each and got this side dish of extra fish organs. They used snake heads for this dish. They got steamed fish and thick noodles, bánh canh. It also had crispy fried fish, it's really yummy. The broth, however, is very rich. I guess they cooked hundreds of fish a day in this broth. Of course, there's veggie and bean sprouts on the side. However, they did use a lot of MSG and it soon kicked in. Even before we finished our meal, the fish was delicious, but I think the broth was too rich for my liking. And I don't recommend the fish organ side dish either. That's the end of the first part of my Dala travel series. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed it. See you again in the second part next week. Bye!